Hi and welcome to our lesson on long multiplication. We will be looking at how we can multiply two digit numbers by two digit numbers. Let's start with an example. 84 times 57. We begin by setting it out like this, lining up the tens and the units of each number. We begin by multiplying the number at the top by the units of the number below. So 84 times 7. First we multiply 7 by 4. 7 times 4 equals 28. We write the 8 in the units column and a small 2 in the tens column below the line. Now we multiply 7 by 8. 7 times 8 equals 56. And like an addition, we add the 2. This gives us 58. We write the 8 in the tens column, and because there are no more digits to multiply 7 by, we can simply write the 5 in the next column along. Next we multiply 84 by 5. Now we need to remember that the 5 is in the tens column, so it is worth 50. This is the same as multiplying by 5 and then by 10. We know that when we multiply a whole number by 10, the digits move along one place to the left and we add a 0. So to make it easier for ourselves, we will put that 0 in now and move along to the next column. Now we can find 84 times 5. We start with 5 times 4, which is 20. We write the 0 here and the 2 below the line in the next column. Next we find 5 times 8, which is 40. We need to remember to add the 2, which makes 42. There aren't any more digits to multiply 5 by, so we can write the 4 here. We found 7 times 84 and 50 times 84. Finally, we need to add these two numbers together, starting with the units column. 8 add 0 equals 8. 8 add 0 equals 8. 5 plus 2 equals 7. And finally, 4 is the only number in the thousands column, so we can write that in. 84 times 57 equals 4,788. Here's another example. 73 times 62. Again, we set it out like this. We begin by multiplying 73 by 2. We multiply from right to left. 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 7 equals 14. We write the 4 below and the 1 in the next column. Because there are no more digits to multiply 2 by, the 1 can be written above the line. Next we'll multiply 73 by 6. Remember that the 6 is in the tens column, so it is worth 60. This is the same as multiplying by both 6 and 10. To multiply a number by 10, we move the digits one place to the left and add a 0. So let's add the 0 now and move to the next column. 6 times 3 equals 18. We put the 8 here and carry the 1 over. Now 6 times 7. This equals 42. We also need to add the 1 that we carried over. This makes 43. As there are no more digits to multiply 6 by, we can write the 4 here. Finally, we add these two numbers together. 6 add 0 
equals 6. 4 add 8 equals 12, remembering to carry the 1. 1 add 3 equals 4, add the 1 equals 5. And in the thousands column we have 4. 73 times 62 equals 4526. Here we have 95 times 47. We'll start with 95 times 7. Working from right to left, we have 7 times 5, which is 35. The 5 goes in the first column, and then we carry the 3. Now for 7 times 9, which is 63. And remember to add the 3. This makes 66. And because there are no more digits to multiply the 7 by, we can put the 6 up here. Next to multiply 95 by 4. Remember that the 4 is in the tens column, so it is worth 40. So we put a 0 here, and we can now continue by multiplying by 4. 4 times 5 equals 20. 4 times 9 equals 36. And we add the 2, which makes 38. Because there are no more digits to multiply 4 by, we can write the 3 here. Finally, we add these two numbers together. 5 add 0 equals 5. 6 add 0 equals 6. 6 add 8 equals 14. 3 add 1 equals 4. So 95 times 47 equals 4465. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 64 times 59. 9. We start with 64 times 9. 9 times 4 equals 36. 9 times 6 equals 54. Add the 3 equals 57. Now for 64 times 5. Remember that the 5 is worth 50, so we put a 0 here so that we've multiplied by 10. Now we multiply 5 by 4. 5 times 4 equals 20. Remember to carry the 2. 5 times 6 equals 30. Plus the 2 that we carried equals 32. Finally, we add these two numbers. 6 add 0 equals 6. 7 add 0 equals 7. 5 add 2 equals 7. And 3 goes in the thousands column. So 64 times 59 equals 3776. Question 2. 77 times 41. Starting with 77 times 1. 1 times 7 equals 7. And 1 times 7 equals 7. You may have already noticed that one lot of 77 will equal 77. Now for 77 times 4. Because the 4 is worth 40, we put a 0 in the units column. Now for 4 times 7, which is 28, remembering to carry the 2. Next we have 4 times 7, 
which equals 28, plus the 2 equals 30. Finally, we add the two numbers that we have just calculated. 7 plus 0 equals 7. 7 plus 8 equals 15. Carry the 1. 0 add 1 equals 1. And we have 3 in the thousands column. So 77 times 41 equals 3157. Question 3. 56 times 38. We start with 56 times 8. 8 times 6 equals 48. 8 times 5 equals 40. Plus the 4 makes 44. Now for 56 times 3. The 3 is worth 30, so we put a 0 in the units column, so that we have multiplied by 10. 3 times 6 equals 18. 3 times 5 equals 15. Add the 1 equals 16. Finally, we add the two numbers that we have just calculated. 8 add 0 equals 8, 4 add 8 equals 12, 4 plus 6 equals 10, plus the 1 equals 11, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So 56 times 38 equals 2128. Question 4. 82 times 27. We start with 82 times 7. 7 times 2 equals 14. 7 times 8 equals 56, plus 1 equals 57. Now for 82 times 2. Remember the 2 is worth 20, so we put a 0 in the units column. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 8 equals 16. And finally, we add together 574 and 1640. 4 plus 0 equals 4. 7 plus 4 equals 11, 5 plus 6 equals 11, plus 1 equals 12, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So 82 times 27 equals 2,214. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.